This is Damien Riatho, and I'm out at a Chick-fil-A protest. Yay! And, uh, I just wanted to, uh, talk to you a little bit about equality. And I think that it's an interesting topic for uh, someone as an atheist because, uh, oops, for someone as an atheist, because to me, I think that we're, uh, in a sense, um, a community that experiences, you know, a lot of, uh, bigotry, uh, the Chick-fil-A, uh, is, issue, I'm sure that they're anti, uh, atheists, but they're, they're definitely anti, uh, LBGT, and, uh, they, they basically spend about $1.5 million in anti-LBGT efforts. And uh, so why, why I feel a need, you know, as an atheist, you know, to uh, protest this is um, that we can't allow, you know, the hate of others to go unchecked. So to me... We need to uh, address things like uh, the hate of LBGT people because, to me, as an atheist, I, I feel a connection to all, all, in a sense, marginalized groups because uh, I feel like we have a shared experience. We have an experience, you know, um, that is related to them and the fact that, you know, the religious generally uh, uh, dislike us, too. And... Uh, they generally have no desire for our equality either. Um, the one thing that's interesting about religions is whenever they're in power, they feel that they're the ones that basically deserve the equality. And uh, Chick-fil-A actively is uh, perpetrating that and the fact of what they spend, the $1.5 million that they spend every year in anti-LBGT efforts. And uh, to me, just like the, 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 I feel a, a need to equality, Quality to fight for women. I have need to fight for people of color, for migrants. For to me, that the issue is that I'm an atheist means that I, I basically don't believe in a god. That doesn't limit or tell me exactly how I'm going to live my life. So uh, it's not like I'm saying that at all. I'm not, I, I do not believe that atheism is a, is a way of life. What it is to me, at least for me as an atheist, is that I live a life, you know that basically tries to, in a sense, harm none. That's what I try to do. And that's basically my humanism. But to me, humanism stems from my atheism. Because to me, atheism, you know, it, when, you, when you put it into the individual, so like, see, they, like, how does one become an atheist, in a sense? It's realizing that they generally have um, a thing where they're looking at the facts and there just isn't any facts uh, for God and... Then if you look at books like, like the Bible or, or any other holy book, they often have contradictions. And then, of course, they talk about all kinds of things that are uh, horrific, you know, in real ethics. But somehow with the religious ethics, totally okay. And um, to me, that's one of the things that, that we have to fight is this religious mentality that I don't have a problem if they want to live their life a certain way. Go do that. What I do have a problem is when they want to push their life into everybody else. So I'm not asking people not to be religious. Go ahead and be religious. But keep it in your house. Don't make it so it's affecting our lives. And to me, when a business is doing that, that is affecting our lives. It's not a private person doing this. And so to me, it has to be addressed. It has to be challenged. And... It's not so simple that you can just say, uh, oh, well, I don't like them. To me, that's not enough. For to me, I, I need to actively demonstrate, you know, where I stand and how I view the world. And I don't view the world uh, from this uh, thing that allows hate. And uh, so I'm here protesting Chick-fil-A. And, and for me, uh, equality uh, starts in my humanism, but the humanism is given acknowledgement, really, because of my atheism. I mean, I wasn't that much of a humanist before I became an atheist, because I, I thought that, you know, God tells you it's okay to not like certain people, like Chick-fil-A does, how they choose to not like gay people because of their God, their theism. So it's the theism 
that's even causing this hatred, this bigotry. So to act like I hear some atheists like, oh, why should I care? Ah, well, there, in this instance particularly, the Chick-fil-A, it is actually a religious or a Christian issue of why they actually don't like gay people and why that they have the hate to begin with. So to me, this absolutely is a related issue because it has to do with the religious war they're putting on us. I'm not trying to start an atheist war or religious war against them. They've already done that against us. They've made laws. They've done things just like they're trying to go against, you know, a, a gays laws. And they, I, I know that they, if they could, they would they would eliminate gay marriage again. I know if they could, then they're trying. They would eliminate abortion. And it's still a religious thing. It's not like they're doing it because they have some internal moral problem with it. No, same with gay. A lot of them probably wouldn't have an internal problem with it other than the religion. Religion is this toxic substance, this belief in God. Because just think, religion with all of its claims, you know, if you remove their theism, you remove the God that makes all this magic supposedly possible, you know, for most religions they would be over. It's a theism issue, and that's why, to me, it directly relates to my atheism. Is because that they are using their theism as a way to support their religious ideas and their bigotries. And so it's not a secondary, this is a, to me a direct assault against uh, secularism, but also against, you know, my being an atheist. It is your theism that you are using to support your bigotry. To justify it. Just try to make it sound ethical. No. It is not ethical. Your bigotry here at Chick-fil-A is uh, your problem. And you've made it our problem. Because you are actually giving money. You are doing things to actively make sure that there's not uh, support for um, gays in the world. And to me, that's going against people. My fellow humans. And I... And I